Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss genetic algorithm in machine learning. Genetic algorithm is a heuristic search algorithm in machine learning that is inspired by Charles Darwin's theory of evaluation. This algorithm reflects the process of natural selection where the fittest individuals are selected for reproduction in order to produce the offspring for the next generation. So given a set of individuals uh, in natural selection, we will select the fittest individual. Using those particular fittest individual, we will reproduce the new offspring for the next generation. So the same technique has been incorporated in genetic algorithm also. The genetic algorithms are being widely used in different real world applications such as image processing, designing electronic circuit boards, code breaking, artificial creativity and so on. Now we will understand how genetic algorithm works. There are basically five phases in genetic algorithm. First one is initialization. Second one is fitness assignment. Third one is selection. Fourth one is crossover or reproduction. Fifth one is termination. Now we will start with the first step of genetic algorithm. The first step in genetic algorithm is initial population. The process of genetic algorithm begins with selecting a set of individuals. Those are known as the population. For example, in this case, you can see here. I have selected four individuals that is A1, A2, A3, A4. They will form the initial population here. So A1, A2, A3, A4 are the initial population in this case. Each of these particular initial populations that is A1, A2, A3, A4 are the solution to the given problem definition. That is individually A1 will solve the given problem. A2 will solve individually the given problem. Similarly, A3 and A4 will individually solve that particular problem. Now, these particular individual solutions are known as chromosomes in terms of genetic algorithm. So, chromosome is an individual entity of this particular population. Each of these particular chromosomes are characterized by something known as gene here. That is, gene is the individual entity of chromosome over here. And this gene can contain a binary value that is 0 or 1. So once you combine these particular genes, we will form something known as chromosome. And this set of chromosomes is nothing but the population over here. So this is how the initial population is defined. So once you get this particular initial population, next we need to assign the fitness value for each of those particular individual solutions or the chromosomes that is done with the help of something known as the fitness function. So what is the use of fitness function? The fitness function determines how fit an individual is. So what is the fitness value of each of these particular individual solutions is identified with the help of uh, fitness function. Based on this particular fitness score, we will select one of these uh, individuals for the next uh, uh, reproduction or what is that called as crossover over here. So the next step in genetic algorithm is the selection. So the idea of selection phase is to select the fittest individual. So there are four individuals are there. We need to select the fittest individual. For example, uh, A1 and A2 may be the fittest uh, individual. So we will select A1 and A2 for we can say that the reproduction or the crossover in the next step. There may be a possibility that A1 and A3 may be the fittest uh, solutions or the individuals. We will select A1 and A3 in that case. So what are the different steps to select this particular individuals is uh, there are basically three methods are there. The first method is something called as roulette wheel selection. Second one is known as uh, tournament selection. Third one is known as rank based selection. Uh, I will discuss each of these particular selection methods in detail in the next video. The link for that video I will put in the description below. The next step is the crossover. So once you select the two fittest individuals. Uh, they will be uh, used as an input to this particular crossover. Crossover is one of the significant phase in genetic algorithm. In this case, uh, first we will identify something known as the crossover point. Once you identify this particular crossover point, we will apply something called as crossover on those particular, the individual fittest, uh, the chromosomes or the individuals. So in this case, you can see here A1 and A2 are selected as the fittest individuals. 
and the crossover point in this case is 3 over here. So what we do in this case is uh, we will apply the uh, something called as a crossover and then we will generate the new offspring by exchanging the genes of the parents uh, until the crossover is reached. That is uh, from A1 and A2 we will exchange these particular genes until this particular crossover point is reached here. So this 0 is exchanged with 1, this 0 is exchanged with 1, this 0 is exchanged with 1 we will get the new two what is that called as individuals that is A5 and A6 and these three zeros will become ones over here and these ones will become zeros over here. Sometimes uh, what we need to do is we need to apply something called as a mutation with a very low uh, random probability where we will uh, can say that flip the genes of uh, can say that the offspring over here. So uh, there is one uh, mutation technique is called as uh, flipping. Uh, in this case A5 is uh, the individual before mutation this is how actually it looks like after mutation these three bits are flipped over here 1 is changed to 0, 0 is changed to 1 and this 0 is changed to 1 over here so this is one method of uh, mutation over here there are multiple uh, mutation methods are there uh, as said earlier the flipping is the first one second one is uh, Gaussian mutation third one is exchange or swap mutation so I will discuss uh, these methods again in the next video. The link for that video I will put in the description below. The last step in uh, genetic algorithm is something known as uh, termination. The algorithm terminates if the population has converged. So what is the meaning of converged here is uh, once you generate the new offspring, this offspring is uh, uh, similar to the existing uh, individual in the generation or you can say that this is not different with respect to the existing uh, individuals. If it is not different, the meaning of this one is the solutions are converged or the population is converged, we need to stop over there. The same thing can be shown with the help of a flowchart, something like this. We will uh, start with the initial population. Once you get the initial population, we need to find the fitness score for each of those particular individuals in the population. Once you find the fitness score, we will check the termination criteria is uh, reached or not. If the termination criteria is reached, we will stop here. Otherwise, we will go and select the two best individuals based on the fitness score. They are known as the parents. And then we will apply crossover and mutation so that we will get the new offsprings here. Once you get the new offsprings, we will calculate something called as the fitness score again. Once you calculate the fitness score, we will check whether the criteria or the termination criteria is uh, reached. If it reached, we will stop here. Otherwise, we will go back and then we, once again, we will select the two parents with the help of fitness score. We will apply crossover and mutation so that we will get the new offspring. Once you get the new offspring, we will compute the fitness score for all those particular solutions in the in, uh, population. Again, we will check whether the termination condition is met or not. The same thing will be repeated unless and until the termination condition is reached over here. So this is the basic idea of how the genetic algorithm works. Uh, I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.